Understanding the phrase salon appointment in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a commonly used phrase in English, salon appointment. This phrase is not only useful in everyday conversations but also a great example of how English phrases can be formed. Let's dive into what this phrase means and how you can use it in your daily life. The phrase, salon appointment, consists of two words, salon and appointment. First, let's understand these words individually. Salon, a salon is a place where beauty treatments are provided. This can include hair cutting, styling, coloring, and sometimes other beauty services like nail care or facials. Appointment. An appointment is a pre-arranged meeting, usually agreed upon by both parties at a specific time and date. When combined, salon appointment refers to a scheduled time at which someone plans to visit a salon for beauty services. Now, let's see how to use salon appointment in sentences. This will help you understand the context in which it's typically used. 1. Making an appointment, I need to make a salon appointment for a haircut next week. 2. Changing an appointment, can I reschedule my salon appointment to Friday? 3. Missing an appointment, I completely forgot about my salon appointment yesterday. These examples show different ways the phrase can be integrated into everyday conversation. English is a flexible language and phrases can often be modified to suit different contexts. Here are some variations of salon appointment, hair salon appointment, specifically for hair-related services, beauty salon appointment, a more general term for various beauty treatments, nail salon appointment, specifically for nail services like manicures or pedicures. Understanding these variations helps in communicating more precisely. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, salon appointment, and how to use it effectively in English conversations. Remember, learning a language is all about practice and exposure, so try using this phrase in your daily interactions. See you in our next video, and keep practicing your English.